Today we're presenting the Ball Engineer Master 2 Diver World Time Watch. The particular model that we're showing today is model number DG2022A SA WH. This is a Swiss automatic watch made by Ball Watch Company. It is the first world timer watch that also has a day date function for a diver watch. The case of this watch and bracelet are made out of stainless steel. The diameter of this case is 45 millimeters. It is approximately 15 millimeters thick. It features an anti-reflective sapphire crystal. This watch is a world timer, so it shows the time in different sections of the world around the dial by this corresponding half silver, half black inner bezel. It also features the date display at about 3 o'clock and the day display at 12 o'clock. Additionally, this watch has a diver bezel feature so that before you jump into the water, let's say with scuba tanks, you would move this inner bezel triangle to the minute hand like this and then you would lock this down and then you would know you would have about 15 minutes from this point forward of dive time. Additionally, this watch is water resistant to 300 meters. It features screw-in crowns. It's anti-magnetic to 4,800 angstroms and shock resistant to 5,000 G's. It has a screw down stainless steel case back. The watch case and bracelet are, have a brushed finish. The bracelet features solid links with precision machine screws holding each of the links together. It also features a double push button deployment buckle. This watch is running on a automatic ball caliber 965 movement. Now there's been several different ways to set up this watch for the world time function. I'm going to present to you the way that I like to do it. Uh, it's not necessarily the only way it can be done, but it is the way I like to do it. So basically what you would do is you would set the day and date just like you would on any watch. So we pull the crown all the way out after unscrewing it. I move the hand so that they're pointing downward. I then like to push in the crown and then pull out the crown one position. I will set the day, excuse me, the date to the day before today's the 16th. So I'm going to set it to the 15th. I'm going to turn the crown the other way and since today is Tuesday I will actually set the day to Monday then what I do is I pull the crown all the way out and I spin the hands through time so that when I hit midnight it kicks it over to the correct day and date but now I know in the morning hours and since we're just past noon I have to rotate the crown past noon and now I am 
at the correct time and I can set the time to match up for the time of day that it is today. Now, how do we set the world time function on this watch? What I like to do is, since I am in California, I will bring my local city to the top of the dial. So I will bring LA to the top of the dial. There is LA just under the 40 mark. And then what I want to do is I want to set this half black, half silver, silver inner bezel to the correct time to correspond with LA. And the way we do that is you move the hands forward on the watch and then when you spit back you'll notice that that inner bezel does not rotate. So I'm going to do this again and I'm going to bring 12 o'clock on that inner bezel which is right after 11 right there with the sun showing. This is about 12 in the afternoon forward. I'm going to do this by jogging this back and forth until I get 12 o'clock showing up and when you get closer to 12 o'clock on that bezel showing up under LA for me you'll notice I'll be jogging my hands forward and back a lot less so that I don't pass LA something like this and it's about 12.05 right about now so I'll probably just do this one more time like this and then I will put this like that and then I will screw back in this crown Let me just do that, put that back screw down this crown a little hard to do with gloves on but I got it like that okay so now we have 12 o'clock on the second time zone world time bezel under my local city of LA I have the correct day and date and my local time also set up and then if you look the corresponding time will fall under each of the correct cities so we're in California right now where I'm filming this video uh, three hours ahead would be 1500 hours and that falls under New York City if you look right there New York City there's 1500 and as you go around everything else will correspond correctly and that's the way I like to set up the world timer function on this watch this watch at the time of this recording was two thousand eight hundred ninety nine dollars which is truthfully an unbelievable price for so many functions and quality in a watch. I don't think I know any other watch, a world timer with a day and date display that also functions as a um, dive watch at this price. And additionally, remember ball watches have the tritium gas tubes all around the dials and on the hands so that you can um, see this watch very well at night and as well as night diving.